Deep cleaning that will make most people vomit. Extreme gutter clearing as gutters aren't plant pots. Cleaning ducting that's big enough to walk through. Oven cleaning when it looks like it's been tarmacked. And we find out if we won that big external cleaning tender. Come see behind the scenes at our UK cleaning company. I'm Lee, this is Vapor Clean. Let's see behind the cleans. Can you use gutters as plant pots? Looks like this customer was. But how do you know once they've been cleaned? It's obvious to this customer they've been cleaned because they had so much overgrowing in them. But if you can't see inside your gutters, you need a company that can provide you with video footage of the actual cleaning itself. And this is what we're doing here. We've got a little camera that is attached to the gutter vac at the top. It not only shows the technician what they're doing, but it also shows the customer exactly how clean the result is afterwards. It's Monday the 27th of May. I'm in the office. It is a bank holiday, so it's a bit eerie around here today. No one else in, very, very quiet, which is fine, that's all good. It's nice to actually just have a little bit of quiet to get on with what I need to get on with. I'm actually in today to get caught up a little bit. I've got a lot of content creation and stuff like that to get ahead on as much as to catch up on to make sure that we're staying afloat with that side of things. The trouble is you take your foot off the throttle with the marketing and then you end up with a gap in leads, you end up with a gap in leads, you end up with a gap on the diary. So we've got to make sure that it's full steam ahead permanently with that side of things. So I'm gonna keep pushing along. Um, hopefully it won't be too long before the new marketing person starts and then we can get that all sorted. We do have a date in the diary, but as you will have known by now, if you're a regular viewer, we can never quite rely on exactly what's gonna happen. We can't guarantee someone's gonna start. Something could happen and they may not start, so we'll see how that goes. It's gonna be a busy week this week. We've got lots of interesting cleans to get done. We also have an update with regards to the external tender. The news is in on that, but I'm gonna share it with the team at the same time as I share it with yourselves. So um, for now, it's get cracking on with the content because I don't wanna be here all day. The, it, the sun is shining, it's a lovely day outside, and I'd like to go and enjoy some of it. Does cleaning your barbecue grill destroy the taste? Let us know what you think in the comments. You can see here, we've got a customer that doesn't believe that. They want theirs cleaned before they fire up for the summer sun. And we do lots of barbecue cleans at this time of year. But lots of people also believe you shouldn't be cleaning it every time. So who's right? Should it be cleaned? Is it unhygienic not to clean it? Or are you literally taking the taste out so did we win the big external cleaning tender? Apologies for the audio problems. Not sure what happened to the mic, but it wasn't working. Myself and Danny ended up having this discussion because Kim and Ashley were off on the Tuesday and Danny couldn't wait any longer to find out what the final result was. Unfortunately, we were not successful absolutely gutted all of us within the team were absolutely gutted but it is what it is it's the way it goes we came in second we had a good conversation with the client who basically said for them we were the preferred choice for another department we were the preferred choice but ultimately it came down to cost and the decision makers or the directors who would finalize the cost we have decided to award to the cheaper person and would we be interested in retendering in another 12 months we're disappointed but we move on afternoon so on the notes it said um the bracket and the um seal it's not um wasn't any good and needed to replace when i got up to the um to have a look all the tape what was on here was all like crap basically there was holes in there it needed to be replaced um and it needed to be cleaned inside it 
so we decided to take the tape off, clean the inside it, and now we can't get it back on because there's no... We were just going to tape it back on how, how we found it, but there's, that's, that's the bracket. It should be bolted to the floor. I should have just left it. Um, a little clue, when something says that the brackets are broken and this needs replacing, that needs replacing, don't take it apart. <laughs> yeah, but that was just resting on this, on the actual fan. It was When I took the tape off, it literally all came apart. But this tape was like, there was holes in it and all, all the air would just came out anyway. Right, this, this system's been falling apart for years and they've been told multiple times that they need to actually do repairs. So what there should be, so if you step right, step further to your right, take a couple of steps to your side, your right, what there should be, turn your camera to the left, point it to the duct in. You see that rim? Oh. You see that rim there? You know the black flexi joiners that you get? Yes. That's what should have been in there. And it's obviously been broken or ripped at some point, which means it's now no longer there. So yeah. what, what you've got to try and do, right, grab your tin snips, go to that rim, yeah. see yeah. the see the uh, the exhaust section on the right hand side, that where you're yeah, that bit. See that bit? Yeah. Cut yeah. it. Literally, if you put your tin snips and you cut from the edge towards the filter section, towards the exhaust yeah. section, get a pair of pliers, open it up. Yes. The rim yes. on the fan will fit inside. I understand where you're coming from now, yes. You can then use some of your self-tapping screws, which you should have in the box. You can yes. self-tap it all together, tape it all up, jobs are good, in, and it, it, it will be better than what it was before. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, that's a technician on site having a few issues. The customer hasn't heeded our warnings from a couple of cleans that we've done over the last year or two, um, which means that section hasn't been replaced. He's now had a play around with it. He's managed to follow um, the instructions. It means it will be quite stable for a long period of time. Can you see the difference with this carpet clean? Carpet cleaning is so satisfying, especially when you've got carpet in this condition. The one thing that annoys me though is the equipment that some carpet cleaners use. Have a look at our carpet cleaner here. You see that piece, that tool, that's the wand. And that's a stainless steel wand which attaches to an industrial strength commercial machine. These itty bitty tiny little Karcher machines or such like, they are not man enough. A good machine is at least twice as powerful as one of those machines like this. And that, combined with the right solutions, is how you get those. just gone half six i'm just finishing up for the day i did a little bit extra because we had dave in um because he had an issue with one of his sprayers for his carpet machine wouldn't build pressure so we've had to fix that quick fix no problem because we've got all the seals and spares and things here to do that so that's all good i'm actually off tomorrow um which for for the day it's all a little bit quiet in the office at the moment. We've got a lot going on out on the road. Ashley's having meeting after meeting with a lot of contract customers, but we've got Ashley, no, sorry, we've got Kim on annual leave and we've got Chloe on annual leave as well in the office. So it is a little bit quiet. Myself and Ashley were having a bit of a conversation earlier about how quiet it is for new leads on the contract side as well. To be fair, it has gone scarily quiet, to be honest which is a little bit early. We normally get it really quiet through the peak summer season because it's not always in the forefront of people's minds at that time of year, other things are going on, but um, we've got lots of new activities and stuff going on to get that to get that up. So we'll see how that goes. Gonna leave the team to it tomorrow. I'll be back Friday and we'll see where we're going. But the techs are busy, we're flat out. And it's still nice to keep pushing forward. See you on Friday. This big ass system, big ass filters, tiny little hatch. Oh. oh my 
my God. There's the fans. The size of their fucking fans. A horror movie, isn't it? Just, 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 go, go, go. It's Friday morning, I'm in the office. Good day off for me yesterday, really enjoyed myself. Um, and it was nice to get a bit of downtime for me with the horses and with the kids and things like that. So I always love the county shows. So it's, um, it's a nice mix of both the atmosphere spending time with the horses but also being able to get out with the kids and going on rides and stuff like that and really having that mixing with friends and family it's just it's amazing makes me feel so much better as well so really enjoyed myself yesterday unfortunately wasn't quite so smooth running in here um, internet went down which caused problems there then the our emails went down as well we had issues with that one which had a knock-on effect because a lot of our online systems send verification codes through to the emails so we've got two-factor authentication on that but that wouldn't work because we didn't have emails so they couldn't log in and yeah it basically caused a lot of stress around here yesterday and unfortunately team not too happy about that so we are working with that at the moment and I'm going to be speaking to the IT guys to see what the hell went on and why it wasn't fixed quicker and why it caused so many issues. Today we've got a really busy day ahead of us. Um, a lot of the technicians were off yesterday. Uh, sorry, a lot of the tech... Today we've got a busy day ahead. Multiple technicians are off today because they were on overnight jobs yesterday. So they won't be in there on a day's rest, which really is a little bit of a pressure, but there's still multiple other things to get on with. Obviously I've still got things I've got to catch on up with. I've got an interesting phone call mid morning about a possible new contract clean. So I'm looking forward to that one. One of the support ops is off as well. So there's a, bit, a little bit of pressure on the contract side with that as well. And I've also today, I've got the new marketing person coming in to have another chat. We're getting closer to them starting, but we're just having another uh, meeting today, meeting next week, and then they should be starting the following week to take over. But we're just meeting and strategizing because of that long notice period. So let's get on with the day. Let's see what it's like. and and get cracking. The full bathroom deep clean actually stinks. It's pretty bad. It's absolutely stinks. Feces everywhere. At what point do you decide that you're too ill to be at work? We're really lucky here at Vapor Clean that we've got some really dedicated people, but sometimes that dedication just takes it a little bit too far. This morning, I've had to send both Sean and Danny home. It's not ideal, they don't wanna go home because essentially they don't wanna leave other people to deal with their workload. We are already still a little bit um, understaffed not understaffed we've got chloe on holiday in the in the office which isn't ideal but um so it isn't ideal when then people have to go home but when you're ill you're ill and i think personally it comes down to how effective you're being and whether or not that illness is gonna roll on to other people so because then it creates more absences within the team so 
they've both been told they've got to go home. Look, enough is enough. Danny powered through yesterday. Um, and she did that because she knew I was off as well and she didn't want to leave the team, you know, completely without um, any management or, you know, final decision makers if something goes wrong. Um, and it was probably lucky it did, she didn't because there was a bit of quite a few things going wrong yesterday. But she's been told she's got to go home today, go and rest, come back fighting fit next week. Sean's the same. She's got some stuff going on at home. And her mind is just not on it. And I know what it's like being a parent. Sometimes if your child's ill, you worry a lot. So go home, you know, deal with what you need to deal with, put your mind at rest and go from there. It helps everyone. And I think, to be honest, it also goes to show what, what kind of manager you are as much as anything else. Because if you're conscious of how people are feeling and you look after them, they will return the favour in the long run. So they're gone home and we've got um, some bits, but Maddie is smashing it as usual. I'm here and I've told her if she needs any help, just to shout. And I know Maddie, she'll probably just smash it and not need any help at all, but if she does, she will shout and I will hear her. <laughs> Your sofa has 19,000 germs per oh centimetre square compared to your toilet seat, which has just 1,600 germs per centimetre squared. Don't believe me? Well, it's true. Fabrics in your home are a filter, your sofa included. So when you're considering an upholstery clean, remember, it's not just the aesthetics that you're cleaning it for. You want a good sofa clean to make sure you get all of them germs out. Especially if you've been ill or you've got conditions like asthma, keep them clean and it will keep your home healthier. So everyone's gone home. It is about four o'clock now. And as you know, on a Friday, we finish early. We finish at three o'clock. I'm just putting in an extra few hours because obviously I was off yesterday. So I'm just gonna put an extra few hours, tie up some loose ends, and then I'll be done for the day as well. We, I've had a few issues with behind the cleans the last episode. I've tried to export it a couple of times and it's just crashing it's at the last minute and it's not completely exporting. So I'm going to get that exported now, um, hopefully. I think I've found out what the issue is. So I'm going to get that exported now, finish up some shorts so we're planned ahead going forward and then we'll go from there. It was a really productive meeting with the new marketing person. <clears throat> who is coming on board. So I've had that meeting today, had some discussions. I've said this before everyone and I'll say it again, we need to make sure that all our marketing is working and we are a little bit concerned that behind the cleans is just, just not quite working and it's not gaining the traction that we want it to gain. So if you're enjoying these episodes and you want to see more of them, drop it in the comments, let us know that you wanna see it and let us know what you want to see more of. Don't know is the honest answer. We've got to make sure that we're working efficiently and effectively and we're going to keep pushing with that and see what we can do. But yeah, let us know what you think. What do you think this is on the bottom of this oven? We've got Ashley here today doing a full oven clean. And as you can see, he's having to literally scrape this layer of dirt off before he even starts the thorough clean. Do you think that would scratch it? Well, you're wrong, I can tell you that much. We've been cleaning ovens for over 13 years and this is one of the best methods you could do. This oven hasn't been cleaned in five years. That's why it's got this buildup. Let us know what you think it is in the comments and what that buildup is. Look at the result once it's finished though. Wow, customers over the moon. Oven looks like brand new. So that's it for this week. Thank you very much for watching. Please do remember to click the subscribe button below, turn on that notification bell so you will get the heads up when we publish our next video. We'll be back next week with the next episode of Behind the Cleans. 
But if you're not done for today, you can click here to watch our latest episode, or you can click here to watch a video that is re recommended specifically for you. Thank you very much for watching and we'll catch you next week behind the cleans.